Swami Prabhupada also appeared very frequently on American television. Let's take a look at one of those interviews. You founded the Hare Krishna movement some seven years ago in 1967, did you not? Yes. Uh, in a capsule, what is the movement? Uh, the movement is to awaken God consciousness of the human being. The uh, human being is distinct, distinguished from the animals, that the animals cannot understand what is God. Mm -hmm. And if the human being also uh, does not understand what is God, then he is enemy. I see. And so your movement is to bring about an understanding of God yes. among human beings. Yes. And Hare Krishna means what? Hare Krishna means addressing uh, the energy of God. Hmm? Uh, Hare means the energy of God and Krishna means God. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you were here yesterday and to attend your annual festival that yeah. was held here in Golden Gate Park, and we were there too. Mm. And in fact, here it is. Mm. Um, a few thousand people uh, came out to hear it. How many people are now uh, disciples um, of the Krishna consciousness movement? Uh, dedicated life, about 10,000. About 10,000 dedicated in ones. In the Western world. Mm -hmm. um, Your Grace, is there any significance in all, at all in the shaved head? Why are heads shaved? Uh, we keep ourselves very clean, that's all. Oh, it's just a cleanliness thing? Yes. Is there any significance in the color at, of the at robes? Least, at least uh, at the present moment, people think that uh, by keeping long hair, it becomes very beautiful. I see. Yes. So we are against that. Mm -hmm. Just as simple as that. <laughs> is there any significance in the yellow robes? Uh, yellow robe uh, is the dress those who are dedicated. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that, that is, it that it is, could very well have been a blue robe. It's oh, just yeah, something that, that was arrived this, at. The, this um, saffron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Your Grace, why do you feel that so many people are pulling away from the traditional religions in this country, such as Christianity and so forth, and going uh, for the, uh, trying to understand the Eastern religions. We hear a lot of swamis and gurus and, mm. and uh, other type of um, yogi and so forth. Why do you feel that people are pulling away from the traditional Christian standards here? But uh, we, we see that the Christian churches, especially I've seen in Anna, mostly closed. People are not interested, or the Christian leaders, they cannot make them interested. Why? Did Christianity fail the people, which is why they're turning to other things? Or? I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say that Hare Krishna consciousness uh, pretty much takes the absolute truths from the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, mm -hmm. and the Vedic. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Religion means to understand God. I understand, but do you feel that in, in getting truths from various places like the Bible and the Koran and so forth, don't you run into conflicts at all or contradictions in those particular philosophies? No, I don't find any conflict because the ultimate goal is God. So you have to understand God and try to love Him. So you can go through any religious process. If the goal is attained, that you understand what is God, and you try to love him, then your life is perfect. Why do we see so many of your followers chanting um, yeah. almost all the time? Chanting means to keep association with God always. So you have to audibly chant yeah. Hare Krishna? Yes. Yeah. This is, this is uh, transcendental, transcendental vibration. Just like a uh, radio message, if you keep contact with the radio message, mm -hmm. Uh, then you know everything what is going on outside. Similarly, this transcendental sound, Hare Krishna, if you chant, then you keep connection with God directly. Thank you very much, um, Your Divine Grace. It's Thank been you. our privilege to, to talk with you and to meet you. Thank you. And hope that we can see you again when you return. Hare Krishna. Yeah. We'll be back with more news in just a moment.